with a uh, world champion Guyanese Elton Dari. Elton Dari, it's a privilege to be sitting here and having a chat with you uh, this afternoon. Uh, thank you for having me here. I appreciate this. So let us uh, first talk about Elton Dari, the little Guyanese boy. Let us talk a little bit first about, um, you know, growing up in Guyana. Where were you born? Tell us little things like that. I was born in Leguan, Guyana, um, in Escobar River. And, you know, I grew up in a family there with six kids and, you know, my parents. And right. In a village where everybody played sport and climbing trees and swimming in the trenches and the river and all that stuff. So, you know, I grew up just like every other kid there. In like one? Yes, in like one. All right. So also watch boxing. Yeah. With my um with my older brother Zem. Oh, so you guys used to watch boxing since in like one? Yes. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I watched it because for the older you know, the people around okay, okay. we were doing. So yeah, I, I know um yeah. back back in those days, uh, yeah. boxing, which is huge, 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 yes, huge yes. I, I know. All right, so let's talk about your yeah. early early years in East New York. Yeah, well, my early years in New East New York wasn't, you know, too fun, <laughs> fun, but not fun at some times. Yeah. You know, you know, always find myself in a fight here and there in East New York, Brooklyn. And I'm told that, uh, that you know, uh, during the summertime, the elders in the community will block off the streets. And you guys will have street fights? Yes, we block the street. and Not we, but they block the street off and, you know, we duke it out in the street, really. Yeah, and I heard that you were one of the favorites there. Yes, because I looked like the guy that wasn't going to fight or scared to fight. And, you know, I was the one who was always willing to, you know, throw hands. But so, but those fights, uh, you guys wore boxing gloves. Were there any rules? Uh, any most fight? of the times there were no gloves, no rules, really. Um, you know, when I started boxing, I had boxing gloves and we... Start right. using gloves some sometimes some days, but it was mostly without. Showed up on defense. Yes. Put it throw down. Yes. <laughs> All right, but um, where did the interest in uh, boxing came from? From watching it. From watching, from watching it. it um, the same East New York growing up and the high school. I went to Franklin K Lane High School, and that you know over there was a the fight as well. <laughs> so, okay. But why not? Yeah. Why not? I'm sure you watch cricket too. Yeah, I love York, cricket. Right? I still watch that's cricket. what I'm asking you. That's why I'm trying to ask you now. Yeah. Like, why not cricket? Why box it? Um, I felt like I was going nowhere with cricket. You know, right. here in in New York, you know, I was going nowhere. I needed, you know, something else to do. And you know, boxing was the one that got me. I played soccer and I played handball and I played every sport that I could physically played and. You know, boxing is the one that, you know, I was drawn to more. Um, you know, how did you know that one day you'll be fighting um, at an international, watching the guys on TV and saying that one day I'll be doing this? Uh, from, Ignite what, it. from watching it more and from fighting, you know, from fighting, actual fighting, you know, it's just, and the first fight I had, it was a 28th Street in Manhattan, the gym, Kingsway Boxing. That's where my first mm. amateur fight was as a young teenager. So, so let me ask you, you're watching these yeah. guys um, uh, on television fighting and you ever thought that one day I would be there fighting for a world champion or a title or something like that? Well, you know, when I, before I started boxing, I set goals in boxing, really. You set goals? I've set goals. I wrote myself a letter and all that stuff, the goals nice. that I want to accomplish in boxing. Nice. And I happened to train and see some of the, the, the fighters I watch on HBO and yeah. Showtime and ESPN, I've been around them in the gym, in Gleason's gym, and I've seen them. So that alone helped me get more motivation and you yeah. know excitement to do Cause, it. Because I got a secret to tell you. Yeah. I like boxing too. I, I you know, I remember Terrence Ali and um, okay, okay. I remember um, Guyanese Terrence Ali and um, Mike Tyson was my favorite. Yeah. And yeah. I happened to train in the gym when Mike Tyson was an actual, he was still an um, active fighter, I mean. And yeah. I, have, I got to see him live in person in training Gleason's yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes. All right. And I'm told that uh, I'm told that you are Guyanese to the core. Yes. Um, I I know of your love for your homeland, the country yes. you were yes. born in, um, and um, I'm told that every time you are preparing for a fight or you want to get a fight in there. You're always talking about taking the championship fight again. Let's oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right from the start, I've you know I've always represented Guyana. When I fought here in New York, started boxing here in New York, I I fought in the tournaments here in New York, the, the Golden Gloves, the um, 
the New York Metros, the U.S. Nationals. I represent the New York and the U.S. Nationals. But when I fought in Olympic box off, I represented Guyana. And when I had my professional debut, my late trainer, Patrick Ford, took me back to Guyana and made my professional debut there. And since then, I've set goals to take home championship fights to Guyana, and I've been doing so. And we're working on bigger ones now. Well, before we talk about uh, what was coming, let yeah. us talk a little bit about your first time going to Guyana to fight. Um, tell us what that feeling was like. Yeah, that, that feeling just rushed back to me, that home feeling, um, that heat that <laughs> excitement but i was yeah. uh, uh, of course nervous and you know was afraid of losing the fight as well <laughs> so i had all that running through my mind when i come home i gotta win and i have to show up and you know represent myself and the people and what happened um, on that night the night of the fight the night of the fight i was very nervous you know you, you can't wait to get in the ring you know preparing for a fight you just can't wait and we had a blackout in the <laughs> locker room I had to wait a little bit more so a little bit more nervous you know a little bit more yeah. afraid of losing the power you know, outage because yeah, people might power. think you you blocked out you no, know no, no. yeah you got power outage power yeah. outage yeah yeah so that, i remember that you know that feeling i had that gut feeling man just let's get this going and i had to wait a little bit more and how did that night end it was great uh, you know i think i made my name that night in Guyana because no one was expecting me to perform the way i did and 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 uh, when you get out there in, in the ring, I get out there and I perform better than everyone expected me to perform. Um, people were a little nervous of me when they see me for the first time. Yeah, um, they see me in the newspaper after years of not being in Guyana, and they see me with a six pack or I look a certain way in the newspaper. They thought I was like this big guy. Yeah, they don't pay attention to the visions. <laughs> they just think I'm this big guy when they see me as a small guy. And now, now they're afraid for me. Yeah. No, but when I, once the fight start, you know, I perform well. I, you know, I drop my, I knock my opponent down the first round. Actually, nice, nice. Yes. Nice. All right, so let us talk about the stuff that you got coming up now. I know that you're working on something big for Guyana, so, um, and I know that you cannot reveal everything right now. Yeah. Um, you know, we're gonna keep, uh, keep our listeners and and viewers in a little bit of suspense. Yeah, yeah. right. But um, whatever you can reveal, I heard that you're working on on a major title fight for Guyana. So let uh title fight where you're going to be involved you're going to be you're hoping to go fight in guyana one more time yes well it's i am trying to defend my belt not trying i will defend my wbc title and also take the wb organization to guyana fight for wba goal um so the first time two of the two biggest organization in boxing the wbc and wba will um have a unified fight in Guyana is for the first time, so I'm wow. happy about that. We are just working things out behind the scene. All right, yeah. but um, you are the WBA international champion. No, I am the WBC international WBC champion. international yeah. champion. Also, also fighting for the WBA gold championship. We are bringing two or two of the biggest organization in boxing to Guyana. Okay, yes. got you, got you. So you're putting your title on the line. Yes, I'm putting my title on the line. And you are you are also going to be fighting for the other title. Yes, the WBA title. We are waiting to confirm both organization on the same you know for the same fight. Uh, we never, I don't think we ever had a unified title fight in Guyana with the two biggest organization um, in boxing. But, yeah, the two title online. So, and the, and the, and this fight will be will be broadcast to where? Yeah, this fight is going to be broadcast on Guyana TV network. There's an app you can download it. Um, if you care to watch this fight, wherever you are in the world, you can download this app and watch this fight. All right. So wherever around the world you are, you can um, you can download the Guyana TV app, um, be able to watch this fight on your cell phone or your uh, mobile device. Yeah. And also um, to those of you who have the wherewithal to, to travel to Guyana to be um, to support uh, you, the, support yeah. our boy Elton Dari. Um, we encourage you to travel. To Guyana, come and watch the fight. Come ringside, and um, to those of you in Guyana, we encourage you to um, to come out, buy a ticket, come out and uh, and watch world class uh, championship boxing in Guyana, of course. Yes. And if there's uh, you know, if we're shifting gears, if there's any young boy or girl, girls are in the sport now, of course, the sport of boxing. Any young boy or girl who 
look up to you and want to have is wanting to have a career like yours if, if this is what they want this route they want to go i believe you got to believe in yourself and you know be disciplined be determined um there's going to be people around that's going to try to discourage you but you got to surround yourself with the right people get with the right people because they play a major role in your success the right team around you i mean you can be the best at anything but if you don't have the right people around you you go nowhere really i agree with you 100 yes. yeah. all right so um like i said brother i'll be there ringside and i'll be there supporting you and um nothing short of a victory yes um are you excited about that yeah i'm very excited about that you know i want to say thank you to mr muhammad khan and the guy on the tv network app for covering this fight if you are a fan wherever you are around the world and you want to see this fight download it the Ghana TV network app and you can watch this fight. It's available anywhere. And for the people who live in Guyana and around the area where I'm gonna fight, I think can come support. I wanna say uh I wanna say thank you very much to Elton Dari for uh for sitting down with me, giving me this privilege yeah. to sit down with the world champion and, and of course a world champion that has the same background like myself, uh Guyanese. And of course uh you know I'm proud to call you friend. Good luck my brother. Thank you. Bye.